All right, we got an ultra rare right off the back. Come on, ultra rare. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, we do have ultra rare. Oh, we got another ultra rare. There we go. Okay, we got one ultra rare. Go ahead and kick me. What's going on, guys? Sovereign here. We're back again with some more Mass Effect Andromeda. Today, we got a little bit of multiplayer, but we're actually not going to do any gameplay. What we are going to do is open up 10 premium packs. So I've been grinding through multiplayer. I have not bought any Andromeda points, all right? I'm not cheating this. I'm not paying to win over here, guys. I'm doing this legit. I've been grinding silver matches, a few golds here and there. I only have one level 20 character at the moment, which is the human soldier. Soldier? Soldier. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. So my only level 20 character currently is the human soldier. I have a few other characters that I'm leveling up right now, but right now I'm really maining the Asari Adept. For some reason, I love this character archetype. It's amazing. Um, biotics are something that I love in Mass Effect. So I've been enjoying the Asari Adept completely. The Annihilation Field is absolutely amazing. It's, I like how they improved upon it from Mass Effect 3 till now. So what are your guys' thoughts so far on Mass Effect Andromeda multiplayer? For me, it seems somewhat of a copy and paste from Mass Effect 3. Unfortunately, I thought there would be some better game modes to play other than just Horde mode. I do like that it's only seven rounds or seven waves. I don't remember. I thought Mass Effect 3 was ten waves. But I could be wrong. I don't really remember. That was a long time ago. But, um, yeah, I actually have been enjoying it when it does work properly. I mean, since it is P2P, it does get laggy. And my Xbox One does drop frames when a lot of enemies spawn around you at one time. But that's neither here nor there. When it does work properly, it's actually quite fun. And... It, it requires a lot of teamwork. It's significantly more difficult than Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. Um, if you wanted more of a challenge, this is definitely more challenging. Silver is challenging enough. Gold, if you don't have a good enough team, and if you don't know how to kite the enemies around and avoid getting shot, you're gonna die instantly. It's so easy to get shot. For some reason, the enemies in this game have perfect aim. It's like they don't miss. Kind of annoying at times, but hey, it's whatever. It's going to make us better players at the end of the day, right? Whatevs. So, let's get right into this. Let's open up 10 premium packs. We have a million credits. So, let's, let's go right in here. Come on. Premium packs. They cost 100,000 credits each. So, hope you guys are ready. Let's do this all right let's get lucky guys let's open it up all right we got an ultra rare right off the back let's, let's wait for that let's see what our let's go from our, our regular cards so our supplies you know and let's go with the silver all right spirit thermal clip for sniper rifles nice I don't have that yet. All right, let's go with our rare. Hey, the Sidewinder. I've been wanting this pistol. It reminds me of a hand cannon from Destiny. This totally was inspired by that. I don't know if they meant to do that or if not, but come on, that's totally a hand cannon. Let's go. And our ultra rare. I don't want it a character. I want a weapon. I have all the characters I really want right now, except for the Angara ultra rare. Yeah, I think I have everyone I want so far. Come on. Weapon. Yeah! Cool. So we got a weapon. And it's an assault rifle. That's good. I've been wanting another assault rifle. Cool. Alright, that was pack number one. Pack number two. Ready? Let go. Alright, so we got some basic stuff here. Ooh, a rifle amp four. That's nice. Yeah, three. Some ammo. A rare. 
Oh, leveling up that Sidewinder. I like it. I like it. Drop the weight. And we got the Indra. Wait, is this the auto sniper rifle? I don't know. We'll see. We'll test it out at some point. All right, that was pack two. All right, number three. Here we go. Come on, ultra rare. Yeah, there we go. All right. A rail amp three for pistols. There we go, because some Cobras. Cool, I have a bunch of those. I never use those. Cyclonic Mod 3. Let's check out this rare. What do we got? Assault Rifle Barrel. Cool. Up that damage. Needed that. All right. And our ultra rare. The Crusader. Finally. Hopefully a shotgun that works the way it's supposed to. I don't know what it is, but Bioware, please fix shotguns in this game. They are very underpowered, and it's almost pointless when you have pistols that are doing similar damage in close range. If I have a Vanguard and I wanna rush in with a shotgun, I should be able to charge in shotgun. One to two shots maybe? I shouldn't be emptying an entire clip to two clips just to kill an enemy, a single mook. Now, if it's an armored enemy, a little bit different. If I empty a whole clip in them, that's a little bit better. But if it's a mook, come on. Fix shotguns, please. Hopefully the Crusader is a lot better. Glad I got this gun. There we go. That was number three. Let's go to number four. All right, so no ultra rare here. We've got incendiary ammo too. Ammo pack. We got a, we got a uncommon here. Turian Soldier 4, okay. Don't really care about that. Don't use them. A rare. The Falcon. This is wait, is this the explosive rounds? I can just Yep! This is the little grenade launcher. I like this gun. For certain For certain classes and characters, it actually becomes a beast of a gun. For like I wanna say like any like soldier type that has buffs to weapons. It's absolutely amazing, especially with this AOE. All right, our second rare. The Talon, yes. I'm gonna put this on my Asari immediately. So the Talon is like a pistol shotgun, shotgun pistol. It's awesome. Does crazy amounts of damage and is light and is amazing. I love it. Here we go. That was pack number four. All right, so here we go. Number five. Lucky number five. Number five is my number. Always has been. Give me something I want. Let's go. All right, no ultra rares. <laughs> oh, wait, we do have ultra rare. Cool. So let's open this up. Shotgun really have two. Mm -hmm. Our Cobra. It's our uncommon. Hey, pistol receiver too. Nice. That's for damage, I believe. Uh, oh, no, that's the penetration mod. Cool. 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 I'm okay with that. All right. Our rare. Pistol barrel too. That's for our damage right there. Good. That and the penetration mod. Yes. All right. And our ultra rare. I don't know how I feel about remnant weapons. I haven't liked any of them that I have so far yet. However, none of them that I have are currently an ultra rare. So hopefully this is a good one. We're gonna have to try it out. Particle accelerator weapon. Uh, paw, makes sense. Fires a continuous high energy particle beam, which their sniper rifle is too, which I don't like. Um, with incredible accuracy for short term, operations its power supply is effectively inexhaustible and overheating is the only concern which is annoying because i'd rather just reload a weapon than wait for a weapon to cool down it's kind of annoying but i guess you just have to get used to it and just learn the weapon and own it yeah but hey i'm definitely gonna try it out all right that was pack number five let's go for pack Number six, load it up. Come on, ultra rares. 
All right, so we have two rares in this one. Got a Cyclonic Mod 3. Pistol Rail Lamp 3, cool. A Revive Pack, which I need more of those. Our rare is the Krogan Mercenary 5, cool. I'm done with all the characters. All I need is ultra rare characters now, I believe. And our Hornet 2. I don't really use a Hornet that much. It's a pretty decent gun, but hey. Gotta level them up. Take it off the loot table. All right. Number seven. Let's go. Give me something I want. Ultra rare. No, but we got... Wait, we got a, a bronze? Whatever. All right. Universal power amp. Two. Or cobras. Probably a character. Oh. Oh. Shotgun smart choke. It's not bad. I got it at level four now. What's our rare? Scorpion two. Uh, Scorpion's kind of like, eh. it's not a bad gun. It's it's good. You just have to get used to the delayed damage. It does massive damage if you could land all your shots. But in the fast pace of like gold match, uh, you need some. You need your damage done right now. You can't really wait. All right, so let's go the Shadow 2. This is what I was talking about. The Remnant rifle, spy, sniper rifle, I should say. It, It's just a constant laser beam. It's deadly accurate like a laser, obviously. It's just, it's, mm, I don't like it. But hey, some people probably rock with it. I don't. Moving on. All right. Go. This is going to be... What is this? Number eight? I believe. Let's go. Give me some luck here. Oh, we got another ultra rare. There we go. We got a revive pack. Cry ammo two. The Ruzad two. That's actually a decent shotgun. It does decent damage, but it's only three in the chamber. So... You get good damage with those three rounds, but then it has a super slow reload. So you have to wait, and you have to reload glitch. Well, it's not really a glitch. You just reload animation cancel, or cancel animation, whatever you call it, to shoot again. But even still, it's still somewhat slow, and it doesn't always work. If you guys know of an extremely consistent way to cancel a reload, let me know. I want to know. All right, and our rare. So rifle 2. Barrel, I should say. Assault Rifle Barrel 2. All right. Good, good. And our Ultra Rare. The Valiant. I like the Valiant. On a class that adds weapon damage, a massive amount of weapon damage, this is actually better to use than the Widow or Black Widow. Because you can still get one-hit body shots, but you have more in the chamber and it's faster to reload, and it doesn't weigh you down as much as the Widow of the Black Widow. So, FYI, good to know. And that's also once you level up to level 10 versus level 10. And um, once again, you have to have that max damage gun class, like a soldier or anyone else, mostly soldiers, I believe. Um, oh, or an infiltrator. Infiltrator as well can definitely do damage with this gun. All right. Well, that's how it used to be, I should say, in Mass Effect 3, but I haven't tried it out. If you guys know, leave a comment below, let me know. But I still am looking for a Widow and a Black Widow, because, come on, those are the god snipers. All right. Let's go for number nine. Let's get lucky. Let's get lucky. Ultra rare, no ultra rare in this pack. So we got that combat power amp too. Revive packs, more is better, more is better. Asari, ooh, got my Asari to level five. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. Is that gonna give me XP, level five? Where is that? I don't know, oh, I'll see, I'll see. All right, and our rare. Shotgun barrel two. That's good. And, oh, scatter shot. I don't have this. I believe this is the shotgun for remnants. 
Well, yeah, it it says it right in the left hand corner. Just read, just, just read. All right. I'm definitely gonna have to test that out and see how it is. All right, guys, we're going to our final, our 10th premium pack. Are you ready? Let's let's try to get, let's see if we can get two ultra rares. That would be amazing. Not gonna hold my breath. <gasps> Okay, we got one ultra rare and a rare. All right. So our strength enhancer four. Cyclonic mod three. Some cobras and our rare for this pack. Wait, is this supposed to be like the uh, the harrier, like the automatic Maddox from Mass Effect three? The automatic rifle with Andromeda Initiative's attempt. I think I don't take some bad habits. I should have break things. Okay, so. Is it not the Maddock? It's like this sleek L89 halberd favors power and precision. The semi automatic rifle was the Andromeda Initiative's attempt to make a weapon on par with the reliable M96 Maddock that also used initiative breakthroughs in material science. Only a few were made, but their effectiveness in the field is unquestioned. So it's not a fully automatic like the Harrier from Mass Effect 3. So it's still a semi-automatic, hopefully more powerful, lighter than the Maddox. We'll have to see. I'm very curious about that because I love the Maddox in Mass Effect 3. Not that great in Mass Effect Andromeda. Hopefully this is better. We shall see. And guys, last and final ultra rare from our 10 premium pack opening. Let's see what we can get. And we leveled up our Crusader to level two. Lightening that up a little bit. So, hey, I'm not gonna be mad at that. We got some Decent weapons here. Characters didn't get any. I'm okay with that because, like I said, I have about all the characters that I think I see myself playing with. Um, yeah. That's about it. That's about it. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. That was 10 premium packs that we opened today all through grinding no andromeda initiative points not spending any real money here all in game had to grind it out if you guys enjoyed this type of video let me know in the comment section below also like the video rate the video guys it takes two seconds hit that thumbs up if you liked it if you want to see more videos like this also subscribe to see more mass effect andromeda gameplay and also multiplayer stuff and let me know if you guys want to play along i will do some private lobbies if you guys want to team up and go smash some gold lobbies guys because i am down to play with you guys let me know so be sure to subscribe hit that notifications button so you get all the latest videos straight to your inbox don't want to miss any of it hope you guys enjoyed have a phenomenal day guys i'm sovereign and i'm out Gotta, gotta get some of this done. I'm gonna go test these guns out. Probably do some gun reviews too. Yeah.